Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. David TPCA. Day 454. Be sure to check us out over on Twitter, at C15 Podcast. Join the discussion over on Discord, link in the description below. And if you're enjoying the videos, be sure to sub, like, share, and hit that bell for notifications. We all saw Sonic 2. We saw it at different times, but I thought it was pretty dang good. Um, when I When I watched it, I felt like... If I was my younger self, like a young uh, kid, I would have loved this. Because you took your boys, right? Yeah, I took my boys, and they loved it. They they really, really loved it. Sonic is a fun character. He's fun to look at, like visually for kids, because he's always moving, and he always has look in his eye, and he's always like doing stuff. It just taps into young children perfectly. And what I loved about it, too, because usually, and I know this is kind of silly, but when you have um, kids, usually everyone wants, everyone wants to be the main character, which is Sonic, right? But this show was so cool enough that like my younger son was like no I want to be Knuckles Knuckles is like cool. I want to be Knuckles not Sonic and I'm like oh, okay I'm like that's kind of cool I've never seen that because usually everyone wants to be the number one character everyone wants to be Sonic. so so it's uh, highly recommended if yes, you enjoyed the first one you'll love the second one I think the second one's better than the first one yeah the first one was good too yeah. I think it's the first one this was just amazing yeah this one was blew it out of the water um the nostalgia the fact that Tails comes in Knuckles they but, did Knuckles very well no I think they did Knuckles perfectly yeah because you can do Knuckles very wrong right because there's Where like, he's like an idiot but he's not he is naive not stupid right and i think that was the problem like in sonic boom they made him dumb like dumb dumb uh, would that see that was more comedic i know and it was i think sonic boom was for the long time fans and for people who don't care and just want to do the memes yeah yeah so, approved that <laughs> <laughs> okay, episode that episode was good i like that episode but um this one did the balance it did it perfectly where he is kind of foolish sometimes but he is not dumb. It's it really not. seems like, because we've talked about this before, I'm like, are they going to take the Sat AM storyline, the Archie comics, or at Sonic Adventure? Feels like they're doing the Sonic Adventure. Yes, they are. They're going with that, which is kind of sad, though, because there's certain characters... I want Sally. Sally, or even Amy's on in yeah. it. Um, I tell you the truth, I wouldn't mind some of the Sonic Boom characters. Like, I, I actually, I think, what's her name would be really funny. Uh, Sticks? Uh, Sticks. I love Sticks. Yeah. I love her, and I hate her, but I love her. I love her, her. yeah. So, I, love how, oh. I love how... Over the top you are. And she's kind of crazy. And then Jim Carrey also knocked out the fight. Oh yeah, Jim Carrey did perfect. Man. Um, we'll go we'll we'll get into spoilers. So without spoilers, definitely go see it. It's a ton of fun. Parents and kids can both enjoy it. Because there's parts where it's strictly for the parents. Yes. Yeah. Like all the wedding stuff, that's for the parents. Yeah. And it's I just laughed out loud how like over the top the wedding stuff was. Oh yeah. Uh, like with the, the sister. Yes, the, yeah, so the, for the sister, especially like the Top Gun volleyball. Yeah. Uh, freaking, uh, it's, <laughs> they're like the super mega bros. Like what is this? <laughs> so there's stuff like that, but definitely no spoilers. Go see it. Yes. Okay, we're getting into spoilers now. Spoilers, spoilers. We're going to talk about everything. Spoilers. Go away if you don't want spoilers. Tails, I thought they did him perfect. They did him perfect. I know it wasn't the original voice actor, but I think the woman that got to do Tails' voice did an excellent job. I I have played a lot of Sonic games. I have seen a lot of TV shows. That was almost spot on. I love this Tails. It was eerily good. And it explains how Tails knows Sonic. So I'm like, how does he... Is there a legend... I guess where Tails is from, they never say where he's from, but he says he was able to, because when Sonic did his uh, giant Sonic boom that was on the baseball field, it sent out an energy wave and his satellites picked it up. It's like, oh, what the heck is this? He was able to see Sonic, basically watch the first movie. Yeah. So he was able to watch Sonic and then he'd be like, oh, he's a hero. And so that's when he kind of got enamored with Sonic right. without ever meeting him. Yeah. I'm like, that was a good way to explain that. I, I love it. Um, it also has a cute little, like, kind of backstory of it because at that moment, Sonic's like, I really want a friend. And so he kind of did. His tails. His tails. I love it. I, I love that. I do like the fact that like, he kind of makes fun of his fact. He's like, oh, I'm tails because of your two tails. Yeah. I, I like that he's like, oh, you, so you, got, you got a helicopter, but oh, only Sonic. Like, he's always like that. That's classic they have, Sonic. They have such a good dynamic, him and tails. Yes, I love it I so love much. It. Because it's kind of like an older brother, little brother thing. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's a family. But I thought it was kind of like you were saying on that family theme when, uh, I like it because earlier, Sonic, the person he's staying with, you know, he's at that, doing the beach volleyball, he goes, I wish Sonic had a family like that with his, like his bros. bros. Yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, me and him, we have like this relationship My where it's almost like son. a dad, yeah. but I'm always having to scold him and be like, hey, you shouldn't go out because he goes on that thing, tries to stop that bus. And Not that yeah, bus, but that, that bank uh, robbery. Bank robbery. Why did he just hit the brakes right away? <laughs> was know. he being a moron? Is that the day? The, the blue uh, was he Blue Justice? Yeah, Blue Justice. You didn't do anything. You ruined him. He had been blowing up all this. That's in the trailers. But then he's like, you know, Sonic, you you're you're still not ready. He's like, oh, stop trying to be my dad. And it's like, they gotta hurt me. You gotta like, yeah, oh, because yeah. being the older. Yeah. But he's like, you know, when he tells him that, he's like, 
you, I know you want to go to greatness. You want to prove that you're a hero, but those you don't pick those moments. Those moments pick you. And there's going to be a time where everything you can do is going to be needed. Which is a good lesson. Great family love it. message. I uh, love it. Especially in this kind of day and age. Uh, you where know, dads we, suck. Yeah, when everyone sucks. Like, dads are either dead or they're evil. Yeah. Yep. Just like uh, uh, in Star Trek Picard. They um, make his dad an abusive jerk. And that's being especially white dad. Yeah, if you're yeah. a white dad, you're, you're evil. You're either <laughs> you're dead or you're evil. Evil. Pick, pick now, gentlemen. <laughs> this, this movie's a throwback. Yeah. It is. So before all that, before they did all that stuff. And then, um, yeah, so I love the relationship. Um, Knuckles' characters really... Love oh, Knuckles. Oh. Ibris knock Knuckles out of the park. It's so intense perfectly. at the very beginning because I'm sitting there in the movie, I'm like, okay, how are they going to do Knuckles? The fact he's like, you know, calling a pitiful, I'm like, okay. So then he's like said like all the stuff like you're unworthy. You're, you're like, untrained. You're untrained, undisciplined, unworthy. And I'm yeah. like... Ooh, I'm like that. Even like even a Sonic getting crappy up I was like that hurt. He's like, like dang working. man, I don't even know you. You I don't put on me. Yeah. I love because because yeah, Knuckles and Eggman had an alliance at first, but I remember the first time I saw like where there was a little crack in there because they were in the scene where they, they thought Sonic was going, and he said, "Well, you didn't even try to save him, and he didn't even carry Eggman." He's like, "Oh, that's weird." Yeah, and then when they end up going back to the meme being the Doctor Robotics meme being machine, yeah, man. which is just the skin of Poyo Poyo, but that's such a funny reference. Yeah, because you not only have to play the Sega Sonic games, you have to play the weird side games to get that that, that, that reference. reference. Yeah. And I love that game; it's so good. I know, but. Then you know his uh his uh, the stone his assistant and so he ends up coming back with uh with knuckles, and you know of course he's oh doctor you're back and of course Robotnik's just out of his mind. And he, and I love the fact that he spent so long eating mushrooms. He like wants mushroom coffee even though it's so disgusting. He, he wants to prove that it's possible. Yeah, like he wants to actually do it. He gets like trying to make coffee, and I do like the fact that they use the Robotnik giant mustache yes. face. Like Boom. for like his uh, insignia and everything. And also, Spectre uh, with Eggman, Jim Carrey, like I said, did an excellent job. I loved all the references, the jokes, um, even in the background when Stone's looking at different outfits. Yeah, one there's a fat one. one. There's a classic Eggman, fat belly, red suit. <laughs> there's a cowboy one, but there's one that was all like super like, weird. Su- like super, that's the one. Super R and all this weird stuff, yeah. So he, he runs that little uh, barista place. When he comes back and he's telling him the plan, he's like looking at Knuckles. He's just, and I like how the fact that Knuckles is always, like he's so physically strong, and he's like, "Oh, that's where Sonic is," and he's like a little hologram, and he breaks it. Pff, the, oh, the little magic hedgehog is dead now. Let's just <laughs> get the real one. With Let's him. go kill the one. The tiny one's dead now. <laughs> she's well, like when they're like listening to that that phone conversation, that text, and he's all dot dot dot. He's like reading it out loud. Okay. And then they went over like really working with this idiot. Like he's just naive of things, and he wants to do the mission. But then they're leaving and the Knuckles is like, because they find out where Sonic is going in the Himalayas because they, he they, find, track, they track where the, because the whole crux of the story is they had to find the Master Emerald. Right, which is cool because they brought the Master Chaos Emeralds. I love it. So on the map, he says like, oh yeah, remember that map that Long Call gave him? He goes, there, was, there, goes, there it is. I, go, I thought it was just a legend. It wasn't a real thing. And Tails is like, no, it's a real thing. Got, he goes, even if it isn't a real thing, Knuckles thinks it's a real thing and he thinks you're the key. So he's going to come after you. So I had to come and save you. So he thought, yeah, I have to go save my hero. Yeah. So... He uh, ends up activating the map, and there's a little message from Longclaw saying, "Oh, the the Master Emerald, it's you have to protect here. it." And I do like the fact that it was done like in cartoon. Yes, because the flashback, I guess there was an echidna that used it, so he was like a super echidna, Freaking super awesome. powerful. And then the the owls are like, "No one should have this power. It's it corrupts. It's too strong." So they end up beating him, take it away, and they seal it away somewhere, saying, it, "No one can get this." R- right, because it's chaos manifested. Which kind of reminds me of a little bit of the storyline from uh, Sonic Adventure One, mm-hmm. kind of where it's like that. Yeah, it didn't have the K, uh, the Chow in it, but basically mm-hmm. it's the same thing. The Kidian wanted all the power, and they they claimed, "Oh, we're going to use it for good," but like you said, it, was it corrupts. Corrupt, it corrupts. So yeah, so, she so that's it. how the the owls and the kidna went to war. So it basically kind of wiped out both species. Yeah, because uh, from what Knuckles says, he's the last one. He's the last one, and they said so. It's weird because the timelines match up. Why, like, because he's like, okay, he was a little kid. He said, so oh, we found where the last remnants are, and for some reason, after that battle with the with Claw and Long Claw, Long Claw, we don't know what happened, but they're all dead. Everyone's dead. So, but as they're leaving to go find Sonic, because it gets like in the up in the Himalayas. He turns a good and, and Knuckles tells Robotnik, "Hey, aren't you taking your 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 lackey, your subordinate?" So, oh no, he's fine. He's leaving alone. He's like, "Well, that's that's disgraceful yeah. that you would just abandon your guy." 
And then that's, that's when Knuckles was like, I don't know about this Eggman guy. He just, he doesn't have that honor, but he said he's going to help me find this emerald. He knows this planet. I got to trust him for now. Right, right. So Knuckles is like, doo doo doo, I'm a dum dum. I like that, that they kind of gave him more. It was, he wasn't just one dimensional moron. Right, Which right. is they co- totally could have did. And they made him more like honor bound where he's more like, yeah, if he starts seeing things, he's going to start expecting not to trust him. But he already promised to, to, to team up with him so he's going to follow it through. through. I also like the scene where he goes in the past when he was young and his dad didn't let him go out. Yeah, that see, see, because scene. when him and Sonic start fighting and everything and then he's like, you know, that's when they're, they're kind of... I do like the fact that when they end, up, uh, they end up finding the next step of the Master Emerald and of course the mountain falls apart and they start snowboarding down the mountain and of course that's from the trailer and then Knuckles is like saying oh stop everyone's like oh you see all these things about me and I'm still beating you so how bad does that make you feel like you're trained yeah. you all these things and I'm still ahead of you right and then he gets really mad he's like why are you always like, always everything's a joke jokes. everything's a joke to you oh. it, it's like man I love it but he ends up uh, when they end up kind of crashing stuff and he's like you took everything from me that on that day when they went after your long call on you my, I was ready to battle. But him and Sonic are the same age. So he's yeah, a little, little guy. guy. And he goes, my father told me that this there would be a time where I would be able to defend the tribe and prove myself as a warrior. But today is not that day. So I stayed behind like my father told me to. And that's the same exact thing that Sonic got told. And then Sonic's like, yeah, we both lost everything that day because that's when Longclaw died. Right. And then Knuckles kind of like, you know, felt like, oh, oh you know, maybe we kind of can understand each other. But then that's when Tails comes in, tries to save him. He's like, oh, you just deceived me. Maybe. I'm like, no, he wasn't deceiving you. He's just, being honest. It just looked that way. Um, And it was good. And then the fact, too, I also like the growing up with Sonic because in the beginning of the movie, like, oh, I want to be an adult, all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, like, when he's faced the saving Tails, because Tails, Tails, gets, Tails gets hurt. Right. And he starts getting the realization of, like, okay, maybe this is getting too real. I gotta be responsible. Or, yes. Because he felt responsible for Tails. Because what does a hero do? They don't just think of themselves. They save other people. They save other people. Regardless if it's, you know, convenient for them or yeah. not. Yeah. So then he's thinking about Tails just got swamped and by remember, Knuckles. And remember, he promised, uh, don't worry. Because you know, I'm not I'm not a field agent. I don't do this kind of stuff. He's like, I promise you won't get hurt. And, and then even like when they, of course, is the silly stuff like the dance battles, yeah, like, yeah, but that's for, that's for the kids. Right. But it's still funny and it's still Sonic and Tails. Yes. And it works so well because it kind of gives Tails a little confidence. Yes. Because Tails is always like very timid, but then he like does this whole dance yeah. thing. Because at first he was going to tell Sonic, warning him about Knuckles and he was going to leave. Yeah. Go, no, you're going to stay here. Yeah, because, but I, oh. then he's like, so he's like, I got to ask you something, Sonic. Because then he's like, are we like. Are you like really my buddy? Like when yeah, he says, "Hey, buddy," he's like, "Say like, yeah. and He's like, "Yeah, you're my buddy." And he kind of hugs him. Like, oh, my, my little baby heart is like, "Oh, I love him." Because he's like, because you can tell, Tails always felt alone. Yeah. And then I can think of the coolest guy in the world. He, uh, what was it? He, um, never was never really liked. I guess in his village, and like I said, so I actually have someone's like, "Oh yeah, I'll be your buddy." Oh, your adventures are cool. Yeah. Really, you like them? And he's like, "Yeah, I think that's awesome that you can do all these things." Mm-hmm. And everyone thought, "Oh, your your adventures are stupid. They don't work right." They, but now the guy he looked up to approved of me right but then right. kind of is like say hey man you you did all these things it wasn't for you i wanted to got any of this so it kind of built up tales too right i really did like the they did a really good job dynamically with them too it's so cool and then um and like i said throwing in knuckles i loved um how they all became friends yeah that was the best part the, they get to the island in this very sonic adventure yes because when they get to the island it opens up and the, the sea opens up as a giant temple and it just seems like a level that you would have to go through for sonic but that's when the, that's when all the wedding stuff happens because he has to oh, like yeah, all the... it's a, that one's for like the adults that are there because like the sister is getting married to some guy but it was a big setup because Fine. those those uh, government officials which are going to under gun yeah under so gun anyone who knows sonic lore gun is the people that did a bunch of they're not as bad as robotic but they're pretty bad yeah they're they're secret organization of protecting the earth but they do it by any means and it's so funny because it's called like guardian unite like in United Nations or something like that. This gun. And then they laugh because they're like, really? Like, yeah, it spells gun. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the, the guy, yeah. The yeah, guy that one guy. That the, the Olive Garden the guy. guy. Yeah. So they're just setting up the sister to get close to the family. Yeah. But then like the guy really did fall in love with her. It's so stupid. But it's <laughs> funny though because she's like, why do you, 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 were, you didn't really love me? But I guess he kind of really did. All the explosion in the background, she gets the bottle of champagne and just takes Yeah, the way that the go kart spins out, she just steps out of it. Yeah. Like, it's all like fast and furious. It's hilarious, but it's so stupid. But that's kind of when they get captured. Then the humans have to help. Yeah. So like even um, uh, James Marsden's character and uh, his the wife, wife. They, they have to help out. And they do have their own moments, which is pretty cool. Everyone had their moments. They kind of... Tails technology. Tails got all jacked. 
And I do like the fact that she's a veterinarian, so she's kind of able to help a little bit. And then it's like, oh, what, what do we do? It's like, that giant light in the sky, they're getting to that emerald. We got to stop her body. Because if he gets it, anything he imagines comes to, to, to real. Right. So he's like, but we can work together. Like, no, it just has to be me. Because look, this Tails, this little guy met his hero and it got almost got him killed. killed. I can't let anyone else get hurt. And then so it's cool because he's running and then he has run across the water. Yeah. Because like, Cause he hates the water. Yes. He's like, so, why have to be water? But it's so cool though. But he's like, you know, I got to go fast. Got to go fast. And then the waves are getting rougher over because it's, you know. Expanding kind of, yeah. and, and swelling, but he's, he's running as fast as he can. It's so good. It's so good. I, I, I'm so mad at people that are like professional reviewers that are like dogging on this no. movie. No. I, I don't know why. Some people say it's, it's not better than the first. You're crazy. Like, how? How? It has all the stuff in the games. All of it. He gets to the island, sees it, but and as Robotnik and Knuckles make it through the, the thing, they're kind of like cheating their way through. And Sonic is just like running as fast as he can, but he's like, you see all the traps and all the things that you saw in the games. Right. And I kind of like how Eggman uh, or Robotnik figured it out. He's like, okay, every if you trigger a trap every six seconds, there'll be another one and another one. Yeah. So you have to like not do it and then... So I kind of like how like it's really showing that Robotnik's crazy smart, smart, crazy smart. So he was. He, they get to the Master Emerald. He's gonna uh, just shock Knuckles like he has his little like taser thing. But then Sonic shows up. Oh, you guys took the long way, but you hear him like activating all the traps and everything. He just like kind of falls down, all beat up. I love that Sonic still has that attitude. Like, oh, I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, the Emerald gets stolen by Eggman. And he's like, oh, you thought I was your friend? You're an idiot. Why yeah. are you thinking? So he takes off. Everything starts to sink. The water starts coming. Uh, tempo collapses. Knuckles gets crashed into the uh, underwater. But, of course, Sonic, even though he hates water, goes to go save him. Yeah, because he can't run in water when he's underwater. Yeah, he can't even really swim. It didn't look yeah. like he Because, you know, like in the games, he jumps and he doesn't get very high. He gets the bubble to get Yeah, he bloop. <laughs> See, that's so awesome because that's from the games. Yes, and I, I that's what I was going to mention. This did it. I, that's what I love. The it played really good homage to the games, and that's all we want in a video game movie. So he saves him, but then Knuckles swims to the top. But of course, Sonic can't really swim. Then Knuckles comes back and saves him, and then he's like, "Well, why did you save me?" He's like, "Because you saved me." He goes, "You're doing some tactical <laughs> advantage on me." He's like, "No, I couldn't watch you die." Right. Because heroes don't just think of themselves, and he's thinking, "Well, this Sonic guy is honorable." Right. Right. He does have that warrior's mentality, even though he's silly and goofy. He still does the right thing, and that's what a warrior does. Right, and one one thing I did like too is that Knuckles says something that's very like poignant to Sonic's character, because he's like, even though you lose and you have sadness, like things happen to you. Why are you so happy? Why are you so upbeat? And you Why fail you so, many so many times, times and, again, and again and again. He's like, he's like, okay, I get it. I fail a lot. But, but that's the reason, and this kind of sets up for um, spoilers for like the next movie because. That's the reason why people say that he's the ultimate life form is because he's so free spirited. Like like Goku. Yeah, he never so, gives up. He never gives up. He's that embodiment of like free goodness. will and goodness, and that's why like you know. So it's like it's very even touching. he even tells Knuckles like you know he you got betrayed you you were tricked you you didn't you thought you were doing what you thought was right so right. it wouldn't so you're not you're not stupid. Like yeah, like how you tell him because he like, kind of put himself down. A yeah, bit on that. it's like yeah. hey, don't don't don't. And I was like, man, you're you're a powerful guy. And Robotnik just tricked you. He manipulated you, and that wasn't your fault. Mm-hmm. But we can still stop him. Yeah, because when Sonic first fought Knuckles, it wasn't even close. Yeah, man. Knuckles was whooping his butt. butt. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I love that they get on the uh, the tornado. Yeah, I, I, I like that they, they get into the plane because Robotnik is able to crack into the emerald, and basically he makes like a because guns there with all their tanks and stuff, and he just takes all their stuff like Magneto style. Yeah, it's, it's a Magneto. That's what he was. But like. makes a giant robot that what the, the giant mustache and everything exactly everything. out of the games. Right, I love. Tell it. Tell me this wouldn't be a scene from a Sonic Adventure game where you're on top of the 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 tornado and you have to dodge all the missiles and stuff. It's right out of the games. Yeah, yeah. and then you get in the ground, you have to run up the machine. It'd be perfect. It's it's. It's eerily perfect. I like how they're going, okay, this is the plan. It's like, Knuckles, Knuckles just jumped off the plan. Like, okay, whatever, you do what you're uh, going to do. Knuckles is going to do what he's going to do. But I do like how the Tails is able to like dodge all the missiles and everything. It's cool. And he has the guns. He mounted guns on it. So it's like, <laughs> I love it. But they're not able to kind of take him out because it's so powerful. And then they get together and they need straight up Sonic Heroes. Yeah. They Straight did. up Sonic Heroes. I, I mean, it, it's... They're running together, Sonic Heroes. They're, they're so, it's so cool. I love it. And the fact that they come up with the plan, and then... They, they leave the streaks, the yellow, red, and blue, blue streaks. I love it. Straight out of Sonic Heroes. Yeah. Not necessarily the most 
popular Sonic game, and, but it was cool that they were in that little trio. Yes. Uh, we must go for the crotch, the weakest part. <laughs> stop saying crotch. Can you stop saying crotch? I'm the crotch. Because <laughs> yeah. Sonic's like, he'll come after me. Yeah. So as he's coming after me, you guys need to take him out. And Knuckles is like, that's such a good plan. It will surely lead to your death. It's such a brave plan. It's like, congratulations, Sonic. You're going to go on your death and have a glorious death, death. in battle. It's like, thanks a lot, Knuckles. <laughs> uh, I, I love that moment so much because it's just, it's classic. Them coming up with a plan, coming up with things on the fly because Sonic never thinks ahead. You just got to just I thought me. it was super cool that they get into the thing and then, of course, Robotnik's all crazy and he's like all green and everything. Uh, Tails does like his hologram thing to kind of bug him out and then now Knuckles is like I am a hologram too he's like being... but he hits him with that mega punch and oh. knocks the emerald out of him Um. also another fun easter egg the manual joke yeah yeah look at the old Sega like Genesis, Genesis manual. manual so stupid he, he got his he got his partner whatever Stone, Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah I sure. love that it's the stash smash <laughs> standard <laughs> issue it's in the instruction yeah. manual I love it so he loses the emerald and then Sonic is jacked I mean, to the point where he's like hobbling. He's like, oh, the Emerald have to get to it. But the the freaking, it's yeah. coming at him. And of course, I love the fact they referred to Sonic as their boy. Yeah, we're going to save our gotta, son. Save I'm like, son. oh my God, I love it. Um, so the human characters are trying to save Sonic. He gets it. They're going to get stomped. And then, I'm like, oh my God, they, 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 they got him. But of course, he got the Emerald. And when Sonic gets the Emerald, Super Sonic. Woo! And he has the spiky hair and everything. It's Perfection. Perfection. I, and I do like the fact that when he becomes supersonic, he's almost another entity. Yeah, he's like looking at He's not joking. Like... He's not doing anything. He's just... It should have had the DVZ that noise. But he just whoops. It's, not, yeah, it's not even close. Chops up his uh, freaking thing and everything. And I think he just knocks him over. And then the next minute, like, so it's like that then. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. We can be friends now, right? He's like, yeah, yeah, no. Then, then they beat Robotnik. The machine falls over. So he, he think, of course, Robotnik's not dead. Robotnik can never die. Well, which makes me feel bad though, because I'm like Jim Carrey. Please do the third one. I understand well, after the third one, you can, you can. But he said he'll only do the third one if he gets to wear a fat suit. He, he wants, wants to be fat. Robotnik. Yes, that's what he said. Oh, okay, okay, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. So you actually have an actor that wants to pay perfect homage to Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, I love that. Can we get more of that? Like. He took a character that's like, okay, I know he's going to be over the top, silly, all this stuff. I'm going to do it to the hilt. So then then Sonic is just like standing there. He's all supersonic and they're like, are you okay, And then Sonic? it's like, don't touch then him. Then Knuckles like, he's something else now. Yeah. Because what happened to the Echidna in the past, he became like war hungry. Yeah. And then Sonic like summons his giant lightning bolt. And they're like, oh, what's he going to do? He's like, makes a chili dog. He's like, oh, I needed one of these. Then then Knuckles like what's going on? I was like, oh, I guess one for you too. And then he's like hits him in the face. Like, okay, I guess he is to the old Sonic. And then he just lets go of the power. Yeah. Then all the Chaos Emeralds like pff, they 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 just go wherever. So that can lead to the next. Right, right. Um, the the funny thing is I did like though is that again going back to that like lesson at the end. He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to grow up a little too fast. He's like, whoa, Sonic, because Tails like you had ultimate power. power. Why did you give it up? Yeah. It's like let's have a lot of grown up to do. Yeah. Oh my God, before before I'm ready for that responsibility, because usually later on in the games, like a lot of like the cutscenes, he does have access to that because he usually has all the Chaos Emeralds and he can just go supersonic when he needs to. But. I love. Then that like, they kind of become like, oh, that you found your like you have like your family now, so they kind of they know everything gets kind of cleared up. Of course, Stone isn't dead; he's like hiding out, whatever. So you know he's still gonna find Robotnik. They all go back, and I guess they have their little family now with Sonic, yeah. Tails, and yeah, Knuckles. And Knuckles ends up making the character back to a whole thing again. Yeah, he's able to crush it all back yeah. together. Yeah. So they're like, oh, I guess we'll just we'll be... Because in the past, there was a group like of people that Guardians, and that would be us. Right. So it's just kind of cool, because it's like the marriage between um, the Echidna and the um, the bird people. Yeah. So now they've now their team has become the official Guardians of the Chaos Emeralds. And they're all honorable people. And then they went and they played a baseball game, which was fun. Yeah, and I like how Knuckles is like, so what, what's the, why am I angry at the ball? He's like, you're not angry at it. It's just part of the game. He's got to hit it. Then you have to goes, if I have to run the bases and end up where I started, why even run in the first place <laughs> if I just end up in the same place? Because it's just a game, Knuckles. It's not like a thing. <laughs> yeah. And then when he wins, he's like, I totally destroyed you. He's like, you barely won. He's, he's like, like, oh, look at me. I conquered the first base. And oh, the second base was easily defeated by me. And he's like, oh, on all the things. And then this is really cute because then they're like, you know, like, oh, what is ice cream? And like those little like, cute It's fun. Yeah. Oh, I like fun. The fun the fun is very entertaining. It makes me smile. Yeah. I'm all of base. And I love, I love, I love uh, uh, the female. I can't remember her name now. Um, 
But the uh, wife, the wife, she's like, I really do like Knuckles. She's like, I really. He's a do. cool guy. He's a cool guy. Because he's straight up. He's not gonna lie to you. No. He's honorable beyond all belief, and he's just funny. He's yeah. funny without being funny. And then they're gonna just live their lives and Green protect Hill's the, own. And, yeah. and protect Emerald. Here's the thing: since we already talked about other universes and everything, do we get Rose? Do we get Amy? Do we, we get? I think we need to. I think um, it would be nice. I would love to see that dynamic because. Uh, 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 Rouge and Knuckles always had like a thing. Yes. And she's a thief and dishonorable as F and Knuckles is super honorable but they have that weird attraction to each other. Right, right. And also, I know it sounds weird. Um, She's a bat. <laughs> she's a bat and everything but no, but with Amy, I kind of like that too because we've seen Sonic go through so many things and it'd be weird to have someone actually like trying to like bounce be his off. girlfriend yeah to bounce things off because that even adds more hilariousness with uh with the dad and the mom because they could be like oh Sonic you know yeah. and, so- and Sonic actually calls him dad yeah he calls I him was dad. like oh I love it yeah he's a fat because his best buds and his dad I love it and the mom um so I like all that um Again, spoilers, there's a little credit end At the scene. end, there's only one yeah. little credit scene. And it's not the very, very end. It's kind of like before the main yeah. credits. After the, uh, uh, we see the video game version of the story. I love those. Oh, those are The great. animated where it looks like they played the game. Yes. But um, we see Shadow. Yes. Here's the thing. Like, oh, it was from 50 years ago. So how were they making that without ever meeting Sonic? Okay, so the, the storyline with that is is that, um, do you remember those aliens um, uh, in one of the games? I can't remember what it was. I think it might have been Sonic Colors. There's aliens out there. They meet with Dr. Robotnik's grandfather, and they help him uh, try to save his granddaughter. But by doing that, they're able to get some type of DNA of Sonic or his people, and that's where he makes Shadow. It's like a thing to kind of save his daughter, like kind of bounce. So the Robotnik didn't know, because in the first Sonic movie, he was kind of surprised when he saw Sonic, though. And all See, that. it was all secret. It was all secret. Uh-huh. He never told, his his grandfather never told Robotnik. Because well, he's going to that secret well, place now, yes, though. Yes, yes. But here's the thing, though. Do they do the storyline where the, the daughter dies, and that's Sonic, and then with yes. uh, Shadow, and I that was like his only friend. Yes, um, and I would like that, because it would kind of show a like, tragic... Kind of... Does Shadow use guns? Yes. I he use a machine gun? It's like, damn! I don't know. I know. He... When I first saw it, when you play shit, I'm like, oh, you're using guns in a Sonic <laughs> game? That's so weird. Yeah, he does. Uh, I wouldn't mind him doing it. Uh, I, it would be weird to see him shoot anyone. Like, I could kind of, like, maybe get them to scatter, but... To actually see him like, oh gosh, like bleed out. Like, <laughs> 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 That's right. Um, I want yeah. a series. I, I, I wouldn't even mind a movie that took 100% place in another world in the Sonic world. Like, I want that Princess Sally storyline. I want that. I wouldn't even mind uh, the, oh, I forget his name, but the alligator guy and all that from Sonic, uh, from Knuckles Chaotix. I wouldn't even mind all those characters. Give me all of them. I want them all. I think it's just, this series is big enough to do something like that. Um, Sega, I think they're on the Strike With Irons Hot. If you would, would do that and make like a series, make uh, you know more movies... You can bring all your franchises to make movies. Streets of Rage. Streets of Rage. Crazy Gold, Taxi. Golden Axe. Make a cool Golden Axe. See, here's the thing. Sonic can be for the everyone, for the family. Then something like Streets of Rage can be for the right. older audiences. Then Crazy Taxi can be another kind of teenager. Like, oh, crazy. You have to, there's a tournament where all the taxi drivers have to and make it do something where they have to fight the Uber drivers and have like a thing. Like, make See, it. what's funny, because you couldn't do Ultra Beast because that's already a movie in the video game. So how would that work? Yeah. Was that <laughs> stupid? Those making. endings were dumb as hell. The making the, of it. Because the yeah, ending know, right? of Altered Beast and the ending of Golden Axe is that you were playing a game then all the creatures escape the game and that's the end of the like what's going on like what the hell I was going like that was weird that was, uh, that was such a weird ending uh, the, and one, one of my personal favorites that they ever did would be um oh shoot I can't remember now I can't remember what the game it was well it was funny because I remember in the beginning when they show like the Sega and shows all the games they even show some of the modern games on yeah that's too. what I'm saying um, Space Channel 9 yeah. they showed a uh, Shenmue House of the Dead House of the Dead, House of the Dead. Yeah, that would be fun that would be a fun movie it would be because such a B rated movie I saw the original House of the Dead movie and it was really awful oh no it's really oh, awful bad like th- it's really really bad but it's stupid bad like oh it's so funny it's bad it's so bad it's fun yeah. I want something that's actually just fun just without fun. it being horrific right right um, but yeah, so... Jeez, Bloodstains. Yeah. Well, it's already, it's already a B-movie in itself, I mean. But, um, yes, great movie. See it. See it twice. Take your family. See, take your family. It's fun. This is what Nintendo needs to write notes. This is how you do it. Yeah, I hope see, Mario's Mario. Mario? Ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Because, uh, again, Sonic might be... You You know, you beat him in the video game thing, but Sonic might beat you and in the movies. All this, yeah. And all this happened because they listened to the fans. Yep. Yep. 
All and, it, it wouldn't have happened if they didn't listen to the fans. And this this friend has made hundreds of millions of dollars. It's yeah, all because rocking. they listened to the fans. They yeah. said they said it actually might be a battle between this and uh, Harry Potter. And I never would have thought that they would be on the same level. Could be. Could be. Because it's so much fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then Dumbledore, I don't know if people are still, you know. They didn't care anymore. Yeah. So I don't know, but it's really cool. I love it. And I, I, I love Knuckles. So, but again, if you bring in those other characters, you bring in Rouge, you bring in Amy, it kind of adds that other dynamic of like, oh, girls, you know. Like, right, exactly. <laughs> like, just to be kind of, it, it, not, nothing weird or anything, but just be funny. More Because you haven't seen them. Because, yeah, when you have the three bros and everything like a moron, but when like the girls and then you kind of be like, well, I don't want to be the idiot guy. Like I, like in, in the whole thing with Knuckles and Rouge is just that, that dynamic of super honorable, super stand up guy versus, oh, that's still like, she wants to steal the Emerald because you know, oh, it's a beautiful jewel. Yeah, they're going to have to buy a bigger house to get any more characters in that house. <laughs> get a different rooms. Um, but the, what's the biggest difference between Sonic and Knuckles? He doesn't <laughs> chuckle. He doesn't chuckle. chuckle, baby. He doesn't chuckle. Yeah. Um, oh, no, it's Sonic. Very, I don't chuckle. Very classic Sonic <laughs> Adventures. I love it. And the thing is, I know Knuckles' voice is different in the games, but I don't care. Oh, oh it's good, though. I, I love this version of his yeah. voice. Oh, yeah. so I, they look so good because they still have their quills and stuff. They're but they, it looks good. Man, it doesn't look good. Yes, and like you said, all because they listened to the fans. They when they first showed us Sonic, we were like, no, no, that's no, not no, our Sonic. No. Fix it, fix it, and they did. Delay them thing. I'm sorry. We will come back with something better. And then when they did, we're like, and thank why you. can't everyone in Hollywood do that? Listen to the fans. That's all you have to do, and you'll go. It won't steer you wrong. Right. Especially long traditional things that we know right. are supposed to be a certain way. Like um, I know it was a long time ago, but that Titans TV show when they showed Starfire, we we're all like. Mm, that's not Starfire. If you can make her more green, you can make this actress orange. More, yes. Yeah. And it doesn't matter that she's black because it makes no difference because she's an orange. You can hire yeah. a yeah. black actress. She's a beautiful woman. Yeah. And they just try to front her up. And, they fixed her hair in the newer yeah, seasons. They used it, yeah. But like in the first season, her hair looked awful. But um, yeah, loved it. Definitely go see it. It's an excellent movie. Yes. Perfect for the whole family. The, uh, perfect for the video game mega nerd who loves everything about Sonic perfect for the kids who just think oh blue guy runs fast and it'll be fun for the parent that has no idea what's going on but I want to take my kids and it's a good family lesson yes being a hero caring about other people um, listen to your dad and I guess the only people that didn't like it is if you're some type of movie uh, you hate fun and you want to have like some box office Oscar winning yeah movie. you want to drink your uh, you know cabaret wine while you watch your cinematic masterpiece well, guys, get, over Sonic, get over it get over it Sonic what Sonic. do you expect I mean I don't know I heard there were sprinkles he's all hitting the truck <laughs> <laughs> yes he just told me about sprinkles uh, the, the sprinkles over there are my new conquest I want to see Knuckles eat ice cream. I bet you'd love it. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted, I wanted that deleted scene. I wanted that deleted scene. I'm just at the ice cream place. I love the fact that in this little green hill zone, they, everyone just knows Sonic. And it's like, oh, it's cool. This is like freaking him, Hedgehog Man's no. walking around. I, I want to see that ice cream place, but they're in the round table like the end of Avengers. Like the first one, and they're not saying anything. He's, he's all just eating like, ice cream. He's like, another. <laughs> and, he yeah. the table. Yeah. and Knuckles has his hand like this, like, uh, you know, Captain America, Chris Evans. <laughs> it would be perfect. I would love it. That'd be great. That's in here. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, you can contact us on any of the social media platforms in the description down below. And while you're here, be sure to click on one of the videos over on the right.